Hi! So you already know how to solve addition problems with missing numbers. Well, this time we're going to look at subtraction problems with missing numbers. Are you ready? Come on then. So again, we've got our number sentence 5 take away something equals 3. We already know about open sentences. We want to put something in the box to make it correct. What number could we put in the box? Yes, you're right. 2 goes in the box to make it correct. But how do I know it's 2? We know that subtraction is the same as finding the difference. So we could count up from 3 to 5 to find the difference. 3 in my head, 4, 5. I've counted 2 fingers, so I know 2 goes in the box. Now here's another example. 10 take away something equals 7. What is the missing number? What number do I subtract from 10 to have 7 left? Let's find the difference by counting from 7 to 10. 7 in my head, 8, 9, 10. This means the missing number is 3. 10 take away 3 equals 7. Now here's one last example. 9 take away something equals 4. What is the missing number? Let's find the difference by counting from 4 to 9. 4 in my head, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I counted 5 fingers. This means that the missing number is 5. 9 take away 5 equals 4. Well, I hope you noticed that instead of counting backwards, we were counting on. We use the opposite of subtraction, which is addition, to find the missing number. Go and have some practice now, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.